Hello everyone, um, today we are going to discuss the relative position between two lines in three dimensions. So, relative position between two lines in three dimensions. The possibilities are two lines in three dimensions can be intersecting, intersecting, they can be parallel, they can be coincident, or they can be skew. Intersecting means two lines that simply intersect at a point, two parallel lines that don't meet. Coincidental means two lines that have different equations, but uh, the same line. And two lines that are skew means that they cross each other, let's say, at different heights, therefore they do not have any common point. First example, let's see um, uh, the lines, for example, x, y, z equals um, 1 minus 5, 3 plus t, 2 minus 1, 1. That's the first line, and the second line, x, y, z equals 0, 1, 3 plus k minus 1 minus 5 minus 1. So these are the lines in the vector form. I'm going to write a system of uh, three equations uh, equaling the x, the y, and the z. So the x of the first line is 1 plus 2t. The x of the second line is uh, 0 minus k. The y of the, se of the first line is minus 5 minus t. The y of the second line is 1 minus 5k. Very important, t and k do not use the same letter for different lines. And then the z of the first line is 3 plus t. The z of the second line is 3 minus k. Here, for example, I can use um, elimination. So, for example, equation 1 minus equation 3 eliminates the k. Here I have 1 minus 3, that is minus 2. 2t two minus t, that is t, 0 minus 3, that is minus 3, and I hear from c that t is um, minus 1. t is minus 1, I apply that, for example, in the first equation, that gives me 1 minus 2 equals minus k, therefore k is 1. Now I have, I've used the equations uh, 1 and 3, I'm going to plug these two back in equation 2 to see that it, it, what happens there. So I plug uh, t minus 1, that gives me minus 5, minus minus 1, that's minus 4 on the left. And I plug 1 here, that's 1 minus 5, that's minus 4. Means in equation 3 satisfied, that means therefore that the lines intersect as the system has a single unique solution in which k is 1 and t is minus 1. To find the point of intersection, I'll just plug the value of k here and or the, plug of, the value of t here. So for example, if I plug k1 here, I get a 0 minus 1, 1 minus 5, that's minus 4, and 3 minus 1, that is 3 minus 1, yeah, that is 2. If I plug t minus 1 here, I should get the same, so let's see, 1 minus 2 minus 1, yes, minus 5 mi um, plus 1 minus 4, and 3 minus 1, yes, of course, I get the same point, therefore, the lines intersect at this point. If you wanted to find the angle between the lines, you have to find the angle between the direction vectors using the dot product. Let's see an example of two lines that are parallel. So I'm going to use two lines. The first line is the same one, x, y, z equals 1 minus 5, 3 plus t, 2 minus 1, 1. And the second line I'll be using is x, y, z equals 3 minus 6, 0 plus k minus 4, 2 minus 2, and I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to equal the x's, equation 1 equaling the x's, that's 1 plus 2t is equal to 3 minus 4k. Um, then equation 2 is um, minus 5 minus t equals 
minus 6 plus 2k equation 3 is um, 3 plus t equals 0 minus 2k so here for example I can add equation 2 and 3 to eliminate k if I add I get my t also cancel so I get minus 2 on the left and minus 6 on the right which of course is a contradiction now um, here um, the fact that the system has no solution here the system has one solution when the system has one solution there is no doubt the lines intersect at a point however when the system has no solution it's possible that the lines are either parallel or skew therefore i have to see if the direction vectors are proportional or parallel means if d1 is parallel to d2 simply by um, seeing if they are proportional meaning 2 over minus 4 is equal to minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over minus 2 and since these are proportional that means the line are parallel the system of course has no solutions because uh, the lines don't intersect at any point so the system has zero solutions the lines are parallel third scenario again i'm going to use the first same line 1 minus 5 3 plus t 2 minus 1 1 the second line i'll be using is mm, the line 5 minus 7 5 6 minus 3 3 once again um, i'm going to write a system of equations so equation 1 is 1 plus 2 t equals 5 plus 6 k equation 2 is mm, minus 5 minus t equals minus 7 minus 3 k and equation 3 is 3 plus t equals 5 plus 3 k um, for example adding equations 2 and 3 eliminates k it also eliminates t so minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2 minus here also minus 2 that's from equation 2 and 3 now for example i have to check what happens with equation 1 therefore for example i can do equation 1 plus 2 times equation 2 which eliminates t and then here it's 1 minus 10 that is minus 9 and here 6 minus 6 also eliminates k 5 mm, minus um, 14 also minus 9 as, as you can see from equations 2 and 3 both equations are satisfied and um, that immediately um, tells me that the system has infinite solutions and that immediately says that the lines are coincident, meaning the same line. The last uh, situation is the situation in which the lines are skew. So I'm going to again use the first same line so x y z equals 1 minus 5 3 plus t 2 minus 1 1 and the second equation is x y z equals 4 minus 1 3 plus k minus 1 3 7 write a system of equations equations 1 is 1 plus 2 t equals 4 minus k equation 2 again equaling the y's is minus 5 minus t equals minus 1 plus 3k equation 3 is 3 plus t equals 3 plus 7k for example trying to solve equation 1 and 2 so equation 1 plus 2 times equation 2 to eliminate t so it's 1 minus 10 that is minus 9 and then 4 minus 2 that is 2 and that is minus um, k plus 6k that's plus 5k from here we get that k is minus 11 over 5 we plug that for example uh, in equation 1 in equation 1 so we get 1 plus 2t equals 4 plus 11 over 5 that means that 2t is equal to here divide by 5 by 5 so that's 20 that's 31 over 5 minus 1 that's 26 over 5 subtracting 1 
and that means t is equal to 26 over 10 or 13 over 5. I have the value of k and the value of t. I use these two values in equation 3 to see if it is satisfied. So equation 3, 3 plus 13 over 5 equals um, 3 minus 77 over 5. Uh, these are clearly not equal. Now the system has no solution, zero solutions. That means that the lines are either um, parallel or skew. We only have to compare the direction vectors, see if the D1 is uh, parallel to D2. In this case, 2 over minus 1, as you can see, is not equal to minus 1 over 3, also not equal to 1 over 7. Therefore, they are not parallel. That means that the lines are skew. These are all the possibilities between two lines in three dimensions.